Today, we honor two martyrs of the early church, St. Cornelius, who became Pope in 251, and St. Cyprian, who became Bishop of Carthage in North Africa in 249. We celebrate them together because Cyprian supported Pope Cornelius during one of the controversies of the early church, whether Christians who renounced the faith under threat of torture could be readmitted to the church. Both agreed that because the church is the instrument of God's mercy, this mercy certainly includes those who wavered in their faith. Hello, this is Father James Kubicki, and I invite you to listen to these excerpts from a letter St. Cyprian wrote to the Pope. And as you do, join me in praying for charity and unity in our church. Cyprian sends greetings to his brother Cornelius. My very dear brother, we have heard of the glorious witness given by your courageous faith. We were filled with such joy that we felt ourselves sharers and companions in your praiseworthy achievements. After all, we have the same church, the same mind, the same unbroken harmony. God's merciful design has warned us that the day of our own struggle is at hand. By that shared love which binds us closely together, we are doing all we can to exhort our congregation, to give ourselves unceasingly to vigils, fastings, and prayers in common. These are the heavenly weapons which give us the strength to stand firm and endure. They are the spiritual defenses, the God-given armaments that protect us. Let us then remember one another, united in mind and heart. Let us pray without ceasing, you for us, we for you. By the love we share, we shall thus relieve the strain of these great trials. Father Kubicki is the National Director of the Apostleship of Prayer. For prayer resources and other information, visit our website at www.apostleshipofprayer.org.